I thought this little screen was going to be my new DIY Stream Deck. This is the Sonoff NS Panel Pro. Um, I had a plan of using this 4-inch display with Home Assistant to make sort of a DIY Stream Deck because I've got new lights and I want to turn them on with the press of a button. Uh, I might want to change microphones. I might want to show different things on the screen, etc. So like a Stream Deck, but I'm cheap, so I was going to make my own. Now that didn't quite go to plan and I'll explain why in just a second. But let's first have a look at this. This is a pretty good looking little display. It's four inch, it's 480 by 480, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's also quite small. Um, it's made by Sonoff and I have a few Sonoff devices already on the farm and you might have even seen them in a different video. I have used a Sonoff device to open and close my gate. So a little Wi-Fi switch um, or toggle. I have used uh, Wi-Fi switches from Sonoff to turn on and off uh, pumps, uh, water pumps, bore pump. Um, and I've used it all with Home Assistant because the eWeLink app, eWeLink, I never know how to say that word, um, works beautifully with Home Assistant. Everything in Home Assistant, uh, or, or rather on the Sonoff platform, goes into Home Assistant. So I saw this and you know, sort of kindly send this to me. In fact, they sent all of this. <laughs> um, and why will become obvious, but it didn't quite click for me. So I thought this would be just another, uh, essentially, screen or device on my home assistant network. We'll get to all this in just a second. Um, now, this has Wi-Fi, of course. It has Zigbee as well, which is kind of what piqued my interest. Uh, it even has a microphone and a speaker in it. It even runs Android 8, I think it is. So it sort of seems useful. Um, now, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a Zigbee node. Um, rather, this is a Zigbee hub. So you're meant to connect all your Zigbee things to it. So there's the first clue. Uh, in fact, this screen is not at all for experienced or relatively established home automation infrastructure or setups. This is meant for newbies, I think. That's the way I interpret it. Um, which is why I got all of these things, because all of these things work with this. They work with the screen. In fact, you can't change anything on this screen here. Um, other than using the phone app, the EWE Link app, um, to configure it. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you're kind of tied in. So when you get an NS Panel Pro, this is meant to either sit like this in this nice case, which, and of course it's hardwired, there we go. Um, or you can install it on the wall using this mount here and putting it inside of that. So you can have it instead, they say instead of your PowerPoint, I'm not sure why you would have this instead of a PowerPoint, but that's the uh, that's the marketing blurb on it. Um, so you can install it one of those places. Um, I was going to have it on the desk in this little, quite nice little mount here that sits at a nice angle on my desk, and I was going to use it as a touchscreen because it's a touchscreen, but it wasn't to be. So instead, what you're supposed to do is you adopt the Zigbee things into the NS Panel Pro from these, such as, for example, uh, this temperature. Uh, gauge here, which I can make, there we go, stand up. So this temperature gauge here is now in here, so it sits uh, office thermometer, which is there. No data. There we go, comes up. Come on. Um, so that's connected to that. And uh, it even comes with a camera because it also supports cameras. Um, so let me just hook that up and we can see how that looks. So if we go back to the main screen, you can see there is a camera button down there. Can... It's talking to me. Um, and it's just loading up Cam Slim, as it's called. So there's then the image on here. Um, it's very jerky and it's sort of a couple of seconds delay and the quality is not amazing. 
but it's there and you can connect the camera to it. Um, there's even a uh, power meter, so you can hook this up to your power and you can measure how much power you're using for a light bulb or a device or something. That will go in there. Um, there's a light bulb to show that it would work with light bulbs like that. Um, standard Zigbee light bulb. And there's even um, temp, um, sensors for doors. Let's go back here. You can see um, on window sensor there, which is that one. You can see it closes and opens and it gives you a little warning up there, a little thing. So it's all very neat. And if you are a first time user of um, home automation, this might be the right solution for you. Uh, it certainly isn't for me. Now, there's a couple of issues with it that I did find. Um, one is that you have to wire it with 240. Um, that's actually not allowed in Australia. Um, so I've done something illegal by hooking it up. I'm very sorry, internet and electricity police. That was just so I could show it. Actually, I might have done this. My electrician might have done this for me. Yes. Um, uh, it, it can connect to RTSP, which is real-time streaming protocols for cameras. Um, I use unified cameras and they only offer RTSPS, so the secure version, which this doesn't seem to do. Um, allegedly, it works with other Zigbee 3.0 devices. I couldn't get it to connect to an IKEA switch, eh. uh, but I have seen other people on the internet connecting it to other things that aren't Sonoff, so that might work as a Zigbee hub. Um, the, the cameras on here, um, you connect through the Sonoff app. So I've got my phone here, all right. Um, so that's a Ewing app. So you connect everything in here, which is also where I have my uh, Wi-Fi switches and my gate opener connected as well. And then you can add them to this panel through the app. So uh, the NS Panel Pro is right there and you can then configure it in some detail. So it's reasonably configurable. Um, so it doesn't have a ton of features. Um, if we just, if you swipe down from here, you get sort of the other part of the menu here. You can add a device like your Zigbee devices. Um, you just press the add device and it'll start looking for, uh, for devices. Uh, there's themes, which is at the backgrounds. Uh, you can set your own background if you really want to. Um, there's notices, which are just the notices that are coming from the devices on the screen um, that are connected to the screen. You can set an alarm if you want an alarm. You can add a camera, um, which again is the RTSP only, um, not RTP, uh, real time streaming protocol secure, <laughs> abbreviations. Um, or you can even um, set up a DIY camera like an ESP32 type arrangement with an IP address and you can actually uh, attach that as well to here. And then there's a bunch of settings like any other device, wireless, Bluetooth, you know, accounts, um, weather even, you can set the location of the weather because it always shows the weather. Now there's a couple of buttons here at the bottom. One is camera. So if you have only one camera, go straight to the camera. If you have multiple cameras, it'll you can select which camera you want to see. And then the other one here is disarm. That's the current status of the screen. You can actually press that and you can say home mode, away mode, or sleep mode. And that is how many notifications you want, etc. If you put it in away mode, um, it locks the screen as far as I'm aware and you can't actually touch it. So if, say you had an Airbnb, you can set it in away mode and people just see they couldn't edit. I think that's how it works. So that's, that's sort of neat. Um, one thing you can do from here is if you open up the UE Link app and you go to the NS Panel Pro, you can actually call it. You can make a voice call. So I'm gonna try this and we may all go deaf. So if you, you can ring it. So if I'm in one part, it has to be on the same Wi-Fi network, I believe. So that rings. And then I can answer or decline. Obviously, I'm gonna decline because otherwise we're gonna get reverb. Um, decline. Um, so you can also use it as an intercom, which could be handy, useful, possibly. Um, but that's about it. Um, if you hook it up to your thermostat or your energy monitoring, you can also see those stats in the app here. Um, and a little, on the screen as well, I'm assuming. Um, so that brings me just to the last bit of this, and that is the price. 
Um, now this, I didn't pay for this, all oh, this review kit was sent to me, which was very nice. Um, there's two door sensors and a motion sensor and a light bulb and Wi-Fi, um, energy monitoring, and of course a thermometer and the device itself and a camera, so that's lovely. But this screen on its own goes for about a hundred US dollars. That seems steep to me. I'm, I'm, I think that's a lot. I'm not sure I would pay a hundred dollars for it. Um, but me, I'm gonna let you make that decision. Um, it does look nice, the screen is quite nice. Even though it's 480 by 480, that actually comes across quite clear. Um, if you haven't done any home automation, this might be the right device for you. But I certainly couldn't make my stream deck, unfortunately. That was what I had planned, but it doesn't work that way. Um, so if you have any other questions about the NS Panel Pro, let me know. Um, or use the link in the description if you want to see where you can buy one. Um, so thank you so much for sending it, but um, it's not for me. I thought this little device was going to be my new DIY switchblade. What's it called? St StreamYard. Streamyard? Streamyard. Streamyard. Is that right? Stream deck. <laughs>